today we are going to learn few more uh, useful constants. This constants you already learned in your lower classes uh, in 8th and 9th and 10th. Here it will be just revision for you. But there you just learn, you have not memorized. But now you are appearing for the NEET examination, so you have to memorize these values in order to do the fast calculations. So first one is uh, mechanical equivalent of heat. Its symbol is J and value is 4.2 joule per calorie. Second one is standard atmospheric pressure 180 m and its value is 1 into 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. Then absolute zero. The value of absolute zero is taken as zero Kelvin. Or you can say the zero Kelvin is called as absolute zero. But when you are defining absolute zero in terms of Celsius, then you will write the value absolute zero as minus 273 degrees Celsius. Then electron volt. 1 EV, E stands for electron, V stands for volt, 1 electron volt, its value is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. If the value, if the amount given is 4 electron volt, 10 electron volt, then you have to multiply this value by 4 or 10, whatever given in the question. Unified atom atomic mass unit. 1 am u in few books you will find 1 u so either return 1 am u or 1 u it is same and its long form is atomic mass unit atomic mass unit and its value you need to take is 1.7 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram Lastly, the acceleration due to gravity small g is very common and its value is take, value taken is 9.8 meter per second square. Note the value of g varies from place to place. It depends on the altitudes also. So, this value, exact value 9.8 is taken at sea level or at equator of the earth. Other places also its value is uh, very near, near to the 9.8, not uh, much difference. And one thing you have to remember in the question, if uh, value is not given, then you will take 9.8. Wherever, wherever uh, the, the question is related to any place, if its value is not given, then you will take 9.8. Sometimes in the book it will give the value of GS 10. So you have to take 10, not 9.8 there. So now we are uh, going to learn about the conversion factors. These conversion factors are also very much important to solve the numerical problems. Uh, without knowing the conversion factors, you cannot solve the problems. So this you must uh, thoroughly study and memorize it. Conversion factors. One inch, one inch is nearly equal to 2.5 centimeter. One feet, one feet is equal to 12 inch. 1 feet is equal to 12 inch and this is nearly equal to 30 centimeter. We are taking round of value in order to become convenient to solve the problems. 30 centimeter. 1 light year. 1 light year. The distance traveled by the light in 1 year is known as a 1 light year. So, one light year is 9.5 into 10 to the power of 15 meter. 
one angstrom unit one angstrom unit this is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter so all this four were related to the length distance length then one liter it is related to volume one liter is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube so here you are converting liter into meter cube in the question suppose liter is given but in the options meter cube is given then you have to convert liter into meter cube sometimes in the question meter cube is given and you are asked to convert it to later then what you will do just take later uh, uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 to this side so here it will be only 1 meter cube 10 to the power of minus 3 will go down and then coming in the numerator it will become plus so this will be 1000 liter so 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter. So how can we remember it? If you take any box whose length is uh, 1 meter, breadth is 1 meter and height is also 1 meter. Such a box if you take and if you fill that box with water, then how much water will be get occupied in that box? So that will be 1000 liter. That uh, cube box can accommodate 1000 liter water. So 1 meter cube is equal to 10 to the power of 3 liter. 1 kilometer per hour. And this is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. The speed of the buses, cars, train. It is generally given in the question in terms of kilometer per hour but in the distance traveled and something uh, it will be options maybe in the meter so you need to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second and that will come out to be 5 by 18 if in the exam suppose you are not uh, getting this value if you are unable to recall this value then I will show you you can also do it and instantaneously you can find out its value so how to do this? 1 is written as 1. Kilo. Kilo means 10 to the power of 3. Kilo. Meter will be get converted. Kilometer. So this meter will be meter only. Meter will be meter only. Then divided by means divided by. Hour. 1 hour is 60 minute. 1 minute means 60 seconds. So if you are converting into second, this will be 60 into 60. So this is 1 is 1, kilo to the power of 3 meter as it is per hour, per hour is converted into second but 1 hour is 60 into 60 seconds. So this will be 1000 divided by 60 into 60, so this 0, this 0, one, this 0, this 0, one. then 2, 5 is 15. 6, 6 is 36, this 36 will get divided and here it will be 18. 2 18s are 36. 18 2s are 36. So 5 by 18, you can get this value as 5 by 18. Then pi radian. Pi radian is 180 degree. Pi radian is 180 degree. You can convert this and for one radian, you want to know the value of one radian. So how can you do it? I will show you here. Pi radian. Pi means 22 by 7. 22 by 7 radian. is equal to 180 degree. Now you want to know the value of 1 radian. So you, here you will take all this term to that side. Then here what will remain is 1 radian. This is 180. The 7 will go there and get multiplied. And here it will be 22. 
So whatever the answer will go, this will be your degree. So if you solve this, then that you will get the value of one radian. This will be like uh, two nines are eighteen and this zero, then two ones are there, two ones are like this. And then this will be say one nines are sixty-three. Sixty-three. Then this uh, zero. Okay, this zero will be there, and this will be eleven. So now you can write is eleven one is eleven eleven five is fifty-five. Fifty-five and this is sixty-three means eight remains, and this zero it will become eighty. Then eleven seven is seventy-seven. So approximately you will get. Fifty-seven degrees. Fifty-seven degree. So one radian will come out to be fifty-seven point something, but approximately fifty-seven. So like this, you can know you can convert one radian. You can find out the value of one radian. Likewise, you can find the value of one degree from this. One degree means how many radians. So what you will do now? This time you will take one eighty to that side. So here, what will remain one degree? Here, what will remain only one degree? You have taken one eighty to this side. Pi. Pi is twenty two by seven, or you can take three point one four. So I will take for my convenience. I will take here three point one four. Pi is three point one four. Radian, and I got 180 here. So you can now, if you by dividing this, you can get the value of one degree, and that value may become 0.017 something. This value will come. One ton, one ton is thousand kilogram. One uh, so so uh, this one ton is related to the mass. Now one newton is ten to the power of five dyne, and this is related to the force. You are converting force from newton to dyne. So one newton is ten to the power of five dyne. Okay. So newton is in the MK system. This is the unit in MK system, and this is the unit in CNS system. So how can we get one newton is ten to the power of five dyne? So you are converting force. Force means mass into acceleration. So you have to convert. You are converting from MK to CNS system. So you have to convert the unit from of mass and acceleration. From M K S to C G S system. So let us convert this. This is one newton. Mass kilogram, and we are converting into C G S unit. That is gram. One kilogram is thousand gram. One kilogram is thousand gram. Acceleration is meter per second square. Meter is in MK system, and uh, in CJ system it is centimeter. Now you are converting meter into centimeter. That is ten to the power of three centimeter per second square. Second is unit is same in MK system, in CJ system, in FPS system, in all systems. Second unit is same. No need to have any conversion. So this will become gram centimeter per second square. But this gram centimeter per second square is known as dyne. So this will become ten to the power of three, and this is sorry, one meter means ten to the power of two centimeter, hundred centimeter. So ten to the power of three, and this is ten to the power of two. This is ten to the power of five gram centimeter per second square. But this gram centimeter per second square is nothing but dyne. So you can write down ten to the power of five dyne. 
So likewise, if you don't remember, you can get it. But in order to save the, this much time, you have to remember it is better in here. When you are solving the board exam, you are writing the answers in the board exam, then you, you, are, you are having enough time. You can do by calculation also you can find out it. But in the neat examination, you have very less time. You, you don't, will not have time to convert like this. So you have to remember this. One Pascal is one Newton per meter square. Just like we have said, dyne centimeter per second square, sorry, a gram centimeter per second square is known as dyne. Like this, Newton per meter square is called as Pascal. Newton per meter square is called as Pascal. One bar, this is related with the pressure. One bar is equal to 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. One atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 millimeter of Hg. The pressure exerted by 76 millimeter height of mercury. That is the pressure equal to one atmospheric pressure. That pressure is called as one atmospheric pressure. And then one torr, this is also another unit for the pressure. One torr is equal to 133 Pascal. 